Welcome to another video. In this video, we are solving for x to the power of 4 minus 1 is equal to 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that u is equal to x squared. And since u is equal to x squared, that means u squared would be equal to x to the power of 4. So with that being said, let's write that out. We'll also add our 1. So instead of u squared minus 1 equal to 0, it'll be u squared is equal to 1. Now what we're going to do is, is we'll square both sides. So we'll have a u is equal to square root of 1, or u is equal to negative square root of 1. That's because if you take a square root of a value, it would be plus or minus that square root. So if we take this one step further, we can solve for our square roots and plug in our x squared. So in this first case, we'd have x squared is equal to 1. We would square both sides. So we have x is equal to square root of 1 and x is equal to negative square root of 1. So if we solve for both of those, x will be equal to 1 and negative 1. So those are two of our answers, and we will have two more. So let's solve for u is equal to negative square root of 1. We know that u is x squared again, so we'll have x squared is equal to negative square root, or negative 1, sorry. And now we will square both sides again. So if x will be equal to square root of negative 1, and x will be equal to a negative square root of negative 1. Now, we also know that the square root of negative 1 is equal to the imaginary unit i. So, that means, well, we'll write that out. Square root of negative 1 is equal to i. If, by the way, you are uncomfortable with that, I do have a video talking about that. So, you can check that out on my channel. But that means that we'll have an i value here and a negative i value. So x will be equal to i or negative i. Therefore, our four answers are 1, negative 1, i, and negative i. So thank you for watching this video. If it was helpful, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.